I think another key aspect that we think about is like we see this great data for you know, TechRank 204 and you know all the IoT gadgets for your follow up, but I think one of the unanswered questions is what do we do with the primary in this situation, yeah. right? Yeah. So you know the live trials have done pre Carmina. Yeah. So if you look at, aside from TechRank 90, yeah, a majority of patients had local yeah. control. So I mean, how do we how do we put this into the setting of current era with like upfront control? I think, Raina, I know you have some trials yeah. looking at alternative yeah. options oh. to surgery. Absolutely. You know, I think we don't know the role of cytoreductive nephrectomy in the modern era. I think um, retrospective databases have suggested that it continues to be impactful, but those are very biased regarding who's getting surgery or not. I think the general practice um, for people that are presenting with de novo metastatic disease is to start them on systemic therapy and um, you know assess them over time and kind of see what happens. And um, I think a lot of us in clinical practice for those patients that have done really well, um, you know, potentially considering a consolidative cytoreductive nephrectomy down the road, or if patients do well everywhere else but the kidney, potentially considering, you know, surgery in that context. Um, not all patients are candidates for surgery um, or want surgery, and I think surgery also usually mandates a discontinuation of their TKI if they're on therapy. And so uh, the radiation techniques have really just exploded. It's been a renaissance in the technology around SBRT. And while historically, I think renal cell carcinoma tumors have been labeled as radio resistant with SBRT, where now we can deliver much higher dose per fraction, um, that, you know, is no longer really a reality. Like we can uh, successfully treat these t tumors and get local disease control. So we have a trial called Samurai through the cooperative groups that is, um, you know, having patients, uh, you know, get standard of care immunotherapy at physician choice with a randomization to SBRT to the renal primary, very simple, one to three fractions, and then um, can go on to continue to get their systemic treatment. So I think it's an important question that we need to answer. Um, and there was even excitement in the room today, um, you know, during the, um, you know, sarcomatoid and variant histology lecture about doing clinical trials that answer the question about how do we do SBRT appropriately? Like everybody's got their one-off scenarios of what they do, but you know, can we actually conduct studies that look at you know, oligo, treating oligoprogressive disease or oligometastatic disease. Yeah. And to your point, I think I'm really excited for Samurai, to, also because it's going to allow the variant histologies, right? Yeah. So this is not going to be just those patients with clear cell, but for the variant where we probably, our treatment options may not be as good yeah. and getting that better local control may be critical. So yeah. I think it'd be really exciting to yeah. see Absolutely. those results play out. I'm going to show up and support it. Yep. Yeah, I love how our trials are becoming more, more inclusive more pragmatic and more simple. Yeah. Right. And we do have the probe trial that's ongoing, yeah. trying to look at the role of consolidated surgery, right? Those patients Very do get trial. trial yeah. can't, should we do surgery down the line? Yeah. So I think hopefully we'll get some answers and it's great from like cooperative groups, right? Yeah. Starting to answer some of these um, questions. Mm -hmm.